issue that we're concerned about. Also, there's differences across jurisdictions. If one city has a much higher rate of human trafficking than another, maybe that's, that tells us that there's something we could do to try to address the, the issue. For changes over time, think about youth violence and the number of people who murdered, young men especially, who murdered in this country. You know, it, was, it started up in the early 90s, absolutely went through the roof. And then has since come back down, but then we went back up again. So huge differences, and that suggests something happened there to make it go up, and something happened there to make it go down. And what is that? And that might give us some hope that even absent program evaluation, that we have some hope that we could change this. Let me skip this. This is sort of a quick summary of the strength of the data. So we can also think about um, one of the other sort of principles we have, in addition to trying to show that they have the data should focus on an issue being common, consequential, and changeable, is putting our findings into context. Okay, so there are one million people trafficked in the world in or whatever the number. We estimate there are 29,000 cases of elder abuse every year, in the, every year in Ohio alone. Huh, is that a lot? Is that a little? How do we, can we wrap our minds around 29,000? Kind of sounds like a lot, but what, how else can we understand that? Or if we say that mm, we estimate there are about 90,000 teenagers in Ohio each year experience some sort of teenage dating violence. Okay, that sounds like a lot, but there are 11.4 million people in the state. How does that compare? So we want to think about, is it becoming more or less common over time? So is it not 29,000 now? What about the previous year? What about next year? About place, is it more common in certain parts of the state than others? And relative to other problems, is it more common among other groups? So for instance, here's a slide that gives us some risky behavior among adolescents, all from the Youth Risk Behavior Survey. People might be familiar with it all from CDC. Which suggests, and this is all what kids are reporting, and this is, if we were to ex extrapolate those findings to the state of Ohio, you know, we estimate about 20, uh, last, every year about 261,000 kids engage in episodic heavy drinking, and then here's some of the other outcomes. Huh? There's teen dating violence. Right along with driving drunk and pretty similar to the frequent cigarette use. Well, well think about how much, uh, which of these, first we can talk about how consequential are each of these different behaviors, but also how common are they? Certainly putting this problem in context suggests, wow, that's certainly every bit as common as these other important issues, other important problems. We have to then move on to say, is it as consequential and is it as changeable? And so that's sort of the burden that I as a researcher feel that we're trying to, and I sort of skipped over this slide before, fill in this slide showing about how, you know, relative to other problems, yes, it's more pro common, it's as common as other problems, we have to decide, is it more consequential than other problems, is it easier to change compared to changing other problems, and similarly, we could think about putting these findings into context over time, in your place. So this is sort of big picture, thinking about how my, my sort of background, trying to think about this data in general, and how I'm trying to fill in these, um, these boxes to make a compelling case that family violence in Ohio is common, consequential, and changeable. Okay. We're also, the other issue that in, in so doing that, we're doing a lot of comparison um, at, across counties, talk about why that is, but that um, we also want to recognize, and we'll see some differences across counties, not surprisingly, but that in this process of doing it, we recognize that interpreting differences by county really isn't just due to the fact that in Licking County has more of a problem with child maltreatment than Fairfield County, or vice versa, just making up numbers. We see, we see huge differences between two counties. It doesn't necessarily mean that the underlying problem is different. It could be because one county has twice the number of CPS workers per thousand kids as does the other county. Or that, well, they just, even if they have the same number of CPS workers and they have the same level of problem, it could be that they report it differently. And so on paper, it looks really different. What we're going to try to do is try to disentangle this and begin to understand uh, all of these are important, but maybe we can make a compelling case for how, um, how our different administrative capacities and maybe even differences in the problem vary across the state and how we can, again, show that it's common, consequential, and changeable. At this point in the process, we're also trying to be really careful about avoiding publicly naming agencies. You can imagine that 
if we were to you know present this, and this is a semi-public you know forum. Um, we're all interested in the topic, but that um, you know, you can imagine somebody from the press is here, whatever, you can say, oh wow, well Clark County has twice the rate as everyone else, and so that becomes a headline in the Springfield Gazette. <laughs> now we don't want them to have to deal with the fallout from that before we've had a chance to gauge them until we know more about why there that, that difference exists and until they also themselves have a chance to work with us engaged to talk think about the data and together we can come up with what we think is going to be a good story. So I'm going to use a couple of examples and the questions I'm going to pose to the sort of other presenters and panelists and ask them to comment on are what are the best ways to present these data to build awareness, which is the fundamental goal. What are the best ways to use the data to guide planning and evaluation? So other ways you can think about that. And then what concerns do you have about how you might present or others might interpret these data? So that's sort of what I'm going to ask you all to come back to. So, Greg? <laughs> or, or, or kind of you're, you're ready to have your guns fired and say, no, that's not it. Um, SAC was, is the State Automated Child Welfare Information System, I always forget the acronym it stands for. It's, and I believe this, these are cases that are screened in. So, well, no, it's all, it's all child welfare related data. So, it's the, all 50 states now have to have a centralized database for child welfare. In the past, the counties had you know, some version of, of different data sets. And so, this is designed that. Um, if a child goes from Franklin County to Cuyahoga County, caseworkers in Cuyahoga County can access the system and get a history of, of uh, what, was, what was going on in the case in Franklin County. So it's designed to centralize all that. Right, and, and so the, the, the data that I'll be presenting so that we got through you, right? right. Are, well, and so it's, when you say screened in, I mean, it could be substantiated, indicated, mm -hmm. or unsubstantiated. Right. right, yeah. Is that, so, Carl gets, comes in to job checkers with some worker in Franklin County, and we're worried about a 12 year old, or a black eyed lady, 12 year old who's in the Navy building in Texas. Yeah, and so, it, they, 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 this is worthy of investigation. Now, it's someone like, I heard a rumor that somebody in my class was, you know, maybe being used. Well, well what the kid, what's the kid's name? Well, I don't know. Well, what's, what's you know, where's the class? I, I can't say, I don't want to say. They're not going to open an investigation on that. So these are cases that, at the very first, we're seeing, you know, there's enough to go on that they want to screen them in. They're going to open an investigation. Now, most of these are not, or I don't know, a large percentage of these are not ever substantiated. They might be what's called indicated, and that there's something going on here. We don't, they might not need the level of proof that we need to actually intervene and label it a substantiated case, but that we're concerned about what's going on. Others are investigated, not substantiated. And others are investigated and substantiated. We can talk about that. Yes. Um, so SACWIS is a system that Children's Services uses at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so for uh, the data geeks among us, this is really helpful. Not only because it helps Cuyahoga County figure out what it happened in Franklin County before, but it also it helps us. Oh, the ideas over time will help standardize how the counties are. Reporting this will make it easier to uh, at least do away, hopefully, with the reporting procedure difference. Um, and that's the same reason the feds had pushed this, so they could help uh, compare <coughs> in relates to different states. Um, and because this has really come to effect in 2007, it has the data in the system already has been imported from previous years. And so what we're seeing here are sort of, even though it's all within SACWIS, it sort of reflects the differences in previous counties system when they look for, for prior to 2007. So that's why I'll only give some examples. Now, this is, here's what the data looked like in terms of, uh, and I want to thank you know, Greg and Crystal Ward Allen and others from uh, for helping make this data available. This is what, since 1995, two years from the PCSAO MacBook, which Greg has been passing out, um, taking their data, their help in working with them. Um, we can say that generally, you can say maybe overall the number of cases went down and up, and here's how they break down by type. So this is neglect, this is physical abuse, sexual abuse, emotional abuse, and other, which is largely what's called families and service, means of service things, right? Which more, you can talk about more that's helpful, but 